welcome to today's installment of Mike's View of Vlogs. I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, today is Friday, January 12th, 2024. I think we finally have our first cold start video for the year, for the this winter season. Um, hasn't happened yet, uh, but right now there is a, a very strong storm system pushing through. Um, it's been pushing through for the last few hours now. Um, it's actually bringing rain and snow. And I think right now, uh, at least a couple hours ago when I was on my way home from work, it was literally slushing from the sky. And the slush was just piling up in yards and roads. Very hazardous drive home, by the way. Um, the wind... Uh, we have a wind advisory until, I think, Sunday morning, 1 a.m. So wind gusts anywhere, you know, between 40, 50 mile an hour wind gusts. Very strong winds uh, going on right now. Uh, so I think this is a good opportunity for the cold start because uh, we will be getting colder throughout tonight. And I think either by... I think Sunday morning or Monday morning, early Monday morning, or maybe both those days. I'm not sure now, but we are supposed to be in single digit temperatures. Uh, so right now it's, uh, I can hear the wind. What is it? It's 36. So that doesn't sound all that cold. Uh, with the wind, obviously it's colder. And I think we should just go outside. Uh, the Saab and the Grand Am have both been sitting for uh, the... Well, I know the Grand Am's actually been sitting for a little more than a week at this point. And the Saab, uh, almost a week. So I want to go start those now uh, and kind of let them run, especially the Grand Am, because it has not been started in... Like I said, about a week and a half's time. And uh, I think it's low on gas, too. So, uh, But, you know, we'll go out there and do that. And then, I don't know, we'll just take a look around outside with what you can see, even though it's dark. Oh, I wish you can see it out here. It's just slush. It's very slick. these steps. Conditions may have improved a little bit since I got home. You can hear the wind, the trees. A little too dark. That pine tree, one of these days. This car has been a champ, like every cold start since I've had this car. Uh, so like I said, a week and a half. Let's get that down. A little dim. Yeah, there's no gas in this car. I'm gonna have to take it out tomorrow. Here we go. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad, she got it. Uh, nothing's leaking. That's good. I was kind of afraid with how heavy this slush has been falling from the sky today. I was a little afraid that the uh, drains were going to leak, you know. But uh, apparently not, so that's good. Don't want to jinx it. Let it thaw. I really don't want, um, you know, these cars to uh, ice over also. as it gets colder. So 
So this one, this one did pretty good. 133,268 on the clock. Heck yeah, heck yeah. All right, now we'll go over to the Saab. Oop, after I dropped the key on the, the Civic. There's obviously no point in running the Civic right now because it was running all day today. Let this one run for a little bit also. 197 955. I don't think this thing has moved since I filmed the last vlog about the accident uh, with this car. You guys are going to see that tomorrow at this point in time. Still breaks my heart because this car, this car has got a strong will to live. Alright, let's do this. Turn all this up to high. And let it thaw off a little bit. Oh man, my driveway is so noisy when both of these cars are on. Uh, so the rain is, I could feel the raindrops coming back here and there. Yeah, it was a freaking mess on the way home today. It was pretty bad. This car doesn't have very good lighting. Actually, just in general. You know, and I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to film me. I'm just going to talk. <laughs> I'm just going to talk. Because uh, you can't see me anyway. So, yeah. A horrible drive home today um, you know going 40 on a 70 mile an hour highway and even cars were going faster than that I don't understand people man I mean this, this is dangerous weather it was literal literal slush falling from the sky and I'm talking like quarter size pieces hitting your windshield of slush little slush balls it was, it was insane. But anyway. Yeah, so what a week. It's been quite a week. Um, I still don't have any update on uh, the Saab yet. I haven't heard from uh, either insurance company on the matter. I do know that at this point in time, the last that I heard a few days ago was my insurance company and the other party's insurance company have both agreed 100% that he was at fault for hitting me. I kind of went into a whole spiel about the whole accident in the last, uh, well, yeah, the last vlog that I uploaded. Uh, I'm uploading it tomorrow, but by the time you guys see this, it will have already been uploaded. So, uh, yeah, just, uh, watch that for the whole spiel, but, you know, it's been... Other than that, there's just other things going on. This, it's been quite a week. Oh, I love watching this. This is just so satisfying. So satisfying to watch all of that just... You know, I, I, don't, I don't really know <laughs> if you guys feel the same way or not. But it's just nice. It's nice to see that. Uh, but yeah. Um... How nice, how nice. Oh, yep. This, this isn't even the strong wind, it kind of calmed down a little bit. I like how well you can see that tree. <laughs> you know. Oh, this poor girl still thinks it's time for service. Uh. This car is warm. It's got the heated seat. Oh, 
Now, uh, I am going to drive this one this weekend. Uh, I do have plans actually on Sunday. So, uh, even though I have said I wanted to make an effort in uh, driving this more before I really decide like what I'm going to do with it since it's been uh, wrecked at this point. Uh, I, I know it hasn't been driven. Um, I'm pretty sure I haven't moved this car at all. When I made that video the last week, uh, I'm pretty sure the odometer was still there. So yeah, this car kind of sat, but uh, I did, I did want to drive it this weekend uh, for sure. Try to try to get it to the 200,000 mile mark, which was the goal. And then I was going to decide what I was going to really do with it. Uh, these people probably hate me, but I can't turn the lights off. <laughs> turn the lights off, they stay on. I don't know what, what's wrong with this switch. That switch shuts off. <laughs> what? Everything else stays on. Why does that switch go off? <laughs> what? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Did you guys ever see what was considered to be the rear fog light on this car? I don't know if I ever showed you guys. So, apparently it's more of a European thing. We really don't do that here in the States, but... You know, here in the States, we have front fog lights. So, you know, it turns on the lights on the bumper, but if we hit this other button here, like you can see, it's kind of like the fog light thing, but backwards. It turns on the rear fog light. You want to know what that rear fog light is? It is this. That's all it is. And it's just on that side. This there's nothing on this side. It's it's just this one. Isn't that weird? So if we turn it off. It's off. And it is pretty bright when you hit the button. Watch. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird that it's like also red, you know? But it works. I, uh, I never use it, like I said. I use the front ones all the time, especially at night. It really helps on this car to drive with the, the actual front fog lights on. This car doesn't have rear fog lights, it just has the fronts. <sighs> All right. Yeah, you guys, I got nothing going on. I'm so bored, so if, you know, if this <laughs> just seems like a bunch of nonsense right now, it pretty much is. And I'm sorry for that. Uh, hopefully, like I said, I will be able to get an actual cold start. Um, you know, out of, uh, out of this storm system. And this is just the beginning. I guess it's supposed to actually stay cold. It's going to stay cold for a while now. So I think we are finally in or heading into the thick of winter. Finally. Uh, I think I am going to take this car out now and put gas in it. It is pretty low. Uh, I think the Saab, the Saab was saying it had a half a tank of gas. I think it might be a little under a half, if I remember correctly, because that gauge is weird. Um, when I parked it, I think it was 
maybe just under a half. I'll have to watch that video again. But I think it's still good on gas. But this, we gotta put something in this before it gets really cold. So I'll probably, I'll probably take this one out now in a few minutes, put some gas in it, bring it back, and then head back inside. I'm bored, I got nothing going on. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's really it. I'll go ahead and shut the sob down for now. that it's somewhat warm in here. But I am going to drive it this weekend, for sure. Um, for sure. i got to move the Civic now. Alright then. we got some sirens going on. My other trash can is flown into the yard here, apparently. Off of the porch. Where's that coming from? I don't think that's really in town. I think that is a ways away. It's, it's kind of eerie that I can hear it though on a night like this. Oh yeah. It's not close enough. All right, so I put 20 bucks in. It brought it almost full, which is good. So I, I want to go home, but <laughs> I think I'm just going to drive this thing around for a few minutes since it's been sitting. You can tell now that, that you know we've got some rain coming back. Combined with the wind, there's lots going on. So I'm not going to be out here long. Or at least I got this car, you know, up and moving. Again, we just, it's just more nonsense in this video. <laughs> more nonsense. All right, folks, here we are. January 15th. It's a little after 7 a.m. Four degrees. We're going to start all of them. Um, we are going to drive the sob today. Here's my bottle of water from yesterday. <laughs> Hasn't even been in here for a whole 24 hours. Um, so yeah, we're going to drive this one. I am five miles away from hitting 198 so this morning will be the morning it hits 198,000 miles four degrees here we go do the Fiesta next since it's going to be leaving today. It's got a lot that has to kind of melt off anyway. Oh boy. Whew. This thing has been sitting all weekend, so it's been sitting since Friday. Uh, almost 52,000 miles on it. The battery is, uh, oh, I had to replace the battery within like the last year or two, I forget, at this point. Four degree cold start, here we go. Here we go. 
Try to get that to thaw out a little bit for her. We got up a little extra early to make sure we could do this. Thaw some of this stuff off. We're gonna do the Civic next, which is staying home today. It too has not been started since Friday. Ice is breaking. Uh, right. This car says three degrees. Oh, everything is so weird looking. <laughs> My iPod battery. All right, here we go. This car is super quiet, you can't even hear it run. <laughs> yeah, my iPod battery is dead. No surprise. And last but not least, the good old Grand Am, which we did start a few days ago. It's probably frozen shut too. Nope. Whew. Very dim. Junkyard battery from a few years ago. Wow, very dim. All right, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> this car, man. This car never fails to surprise me when it comes to cold starting. <laughs> wow. Of course, we got like funny noises every time. All right, man. Whew. It's gonna be a long one today. It's only supposed to get up to like 14. Oh, it doesn't wanna shut. There we go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna let all these run for a little bit before I leave. Good to see that they're not all iced over that badly. First cold start of this winter season. Will it be the only one? I don't know. It's supposed to stay really cold from here on out for a while, so I guess we'll find out together. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this, thumbs up comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry that there was a little bit of nonsense throughout this vlog, but, you know, sometimes that's just how it is, unfortunately. Sometimes that's just how it is. Alright, guys, take care.